While the pre-trained bird is a powerful model, it's a generalized NLP solution. It can understand the text, but it isn't trained for a specific task. Fine-tuning BERT, however, can help expand its language understanding capability to newer domains of text. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. Today we will train BERT to classify the archive papers into one of these 11 categories. For this task, we will use the archive classification dataset from Hugging Face. Now let's see how to fine tune BERT. To get the code, open the Learn Open CV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive an email with a notebook link. Download it and let's get started. To fine tune BERT, we will need a few Hugging Face modules. For example, the Transformers library provides pre-trained NLP models like BERT. Datasets offer datasets like the archive classification. Evaluate Utility Library helps calculate the performance metrics and Accelerate helps simplify the training process. We also need TensorBoard for logging. Now import these modules and initialize the training hyperparameters like the batch size, number of parallel processors for loading and tokenizing the text, the optimizer's learning rate and the number of training epochs. If these concepts are difficult for you to grasp, you should check out OpenCV University's free TensorFlow and Keras bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. We use load dataset to get the train, validation and test splits of archive classification dataset. It has around 28,000 train images and 2500-2500 validation and test images. This is a sample data entry. Here is the text and here is the label. BERT will be trained on both. These are the label mappings between the dataset and the archive subject area categories. And here we set and map the tokenizer to the train validation and test splits. We have already discussed tokenizer and padding in our previous video on BERT. You should check that out if you haven't. Essentially, every word is converted to one or more numerical tokens as can be seen here. And on an average, one word is equal to 1.3 tokens. We use accuracy as a metric to monitor the model's training performance. Here we initialize the BERT model from the Auto Model for Sequence Classification class. The BERT model has 109 million parameters. Now using the hyperparameters, initialize the training arguments and pass the model, the datasets, the training arguments and more to the training API. During training, both the training and the validation losses are evaluated along with the metric being monitored, that is accuracy. The model reaches more than 86% accuracy in just 5 epochs. The accuracy and the loss plots reveal that the fine-tuned model may be slightly overfit. Using a learning rate scheduler will surely help in this case. Now pass the test dataset to the evaluate function to verify the model performance. We get 86% accuracy which is a decent score. And here is BERT running prediction on some unseen paper abstracts. Out of 10 abstracts, BERT got 9 subject area categories correct. So that's all about fine-tuning BERT. Check out learnopencv.com to stay updated about everything AI. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.